Hey guys, I'm Megan from Dollar Sprout, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Grow Social Sharing plugin for your WordPress blog. From within WordPress, we're going to go to Plugins and Add New, then search for Grow, and then click Install Now, and once it's finished installing, go ahead and click Activate. And you can see on the side menu over here, you now have Grow as a menu option. So we're gonna go to Grow and Toolkit. And this is where you can activate or deactivate the floating sidebar and inline content. So we're gonna look at the floating sidebar first. So once you activate the floating sidebar, you'll see a settings option pop up on the left. So we're gonna click that. And here, is where you can add and remove social networks. So when you first get in here, you won't have any, and you can select which networks you want to display buttons for. So I'm gonna choose Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Pinterest, and click Apply Selection. And you can go down here, choose your button style, um, how you want your buttons to look on your site. So. I'm gonna choose rectangular, large, uh, whether or not you wanna show an animation. So when you hover over your buttons, they do a little animation, positioning, and whether or not you wanna show on mobile. Then under our button share counts, you can click to show your share counts for individual buttons and total share count among all of your buttons for all of the different platforms that you chose um, before or share it before or after your buttons and if you want to round your sharing so I'm gonna say yes then you can choose minimum global share count so don't show any share counts until I have at least 50 for example um, and you can do that globally so at least 50 among all of your buttons and you can also do it individually choosing a minimum share count for your individual buttons before they'll show what that share count is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no minimum for now. Then you can customize your button colors. So I have ours set to be red, and then when you hover over the button, it's gonna turn to black. So I'm gonna save my changes here, and then go over to my example blog, blog post. And you can see that now I have my share buttons over on the side of my blog post. Then I'm gonna go back to grow and I'm gonna go to my toolkit again and I'm going to activate the inline content buttons. So once those are active, I can click on settings and then I can choose the network. So I've already chosen the networks that I want, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn choose my button style. I'm gonna go with the classic version. My display settings, so large and rectangular animation. Um, I want to show my buttons above and below. You can choose just above or just below your content as well. Um, and then I'm gonna set my width to auto. And you can write share text like something sharing is caring. So those will appear beside your buttons um, to show your button labels. So this is the name of the network. So sharing just the icon, the logo of that network, or also the name like Facebook and Pinterest. So I'm gonna say yes to that. Um, button spacing, I'm gonna say yes. Show on mobile, again, be sure to check you're sharing buttons on mobile to make sure that they're not impeding your readers from actually seeing your content. Um, and then similar to the other buttons that I created, I'm going to say yes to share count, share count round, and no minimums. And then set my button colors, save those changes, and I'm going to go back over to my example blog post, refresh, and you can see now I have my share buttons showing both at the top of my blog post and at the bottom. So I don't really like this sharing as caring text. I'm gonna remove that. 
save my changes. And this is what it looks like just plain. Okay, so a few more settings we need to take care of. Under Grow, we're going to click on Settings. And then under Social Identity, you can choose to add your Twitter name to all of your tweets. So whenever somebody shares your blog post via Twitter, you will your username will be attached to the end of it so people will know where it came from, um, can visit your Twitter profile, and you also get a notification. So I'm going to say yes, and then you can type in your Twitter username here. And then under miscellaneous settings, you're going to have to log in with your Facebook account to give Grow permission to um, access your share counts on Facebook. So it's very simple. I've already done it here. So um, what you would need to do though is you would just click Grow by Mediavine is your share counts provider. And you can log in. There will be a link here. You can go to Facebook, log into your Facebook account, and give Grow permission to access some of your data from Facebook. And very simple, you'll be set up to share your Facebook counts. And then similarly for Twitter, if you want to enable your share counts for Twitter, you can hover over this question mark here and you'll need to go to Twit Count. Then click on Give Me My Twitter Counts Back. And similar with your Facebook shares, you'll need to sign into your Twitter account in order to have Grow show your share counts for Twitter and Facebook on your profile. So. I'm going to save my settings. That's it for our settings. And the last place that we can see grow in action is if we go to a draft of a blog post on our site, scroll down, we have our Yoast drop down, and then down here we have our grow share statistics. So with the free version, you'll see just the grow share statistics where you can see how many times this blog post has been shared among all of your social networks that you've chosen. You can also recover your shares. If you change the link to one of your blog posts, then you can keep all of the social shares to that blog post just by adding the new link down here. And that's it for setting up your Grow Social Sharing plugin. Thanks so much for being here and watching this video. If you have any questions about how to start a blog or how to set up your blog, drop your questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Dollar Sprout YouTube channel for more videos like this one.